This video will show you how to put together this 3D latte mug, which is an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. Okay, for this file, this is the latte mug, which is good for any occasion. So we have this for, this is the actual mug and then the handle part will be this. So we'll do the handle first and then this after because we're going to do the hardest part first. This is what it looks like. This is my Halloween version which I'm working on. I'm going to add a couple things to it. So you can see you can make it for any occasion which is fun. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the... So we're going to take those pieces, the panels and the big piece and that little hexagon. We're going to put that aside. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to do my best to make sure that you can see it. So there's these panels that have no tabs. These have tabs, and this has a t two tabs. So we want to go ahead and kind of curl it, pre-curl it. So it's going to be most curled at the top. So you can tell this is the top because as it goes down, you can see it gets slightly smaller, and the smallest part has these little teeny-weeny tabs down there. So that'll tell you that it's the bottom. So we're going to curl it first. And we can fold it here. So those are going to fold backwards like that to fold to glue onto the tab. These are going to glue like this. So we can fold those. And these are like really teeny ones, so however you want to fold those. The better you fold those, the easier it's going to be to glue them on. I just nicked my, I stabbed myself with something there. So hopefully you can see it well. So that's what from the side that's going to go like this. So just make sure that you have the top part. So that's the bottom, that's the top. So now we have these two pieces. They both have tabs on the top and bottom. So similarly we're going to do a little mountain fold and then we're going to fold it back to get it trained. That's a valley fold. That's a mountain fold. This is a valley fold. So this is to get it ready to be glued onto the tab when we get there. So if it does something funky like that, don't worry too much. Just try to make sure that you're folding correctly. It's a really small fold, so you might want to go against the table, fold it backwards, and then get something to get a little crisper fold. So you can see it's kind of coming apart here, but that's only because of the way that I, uh, the t type of how I fold, uh, score uh, my items, which is a, little bit of a kiss cut so it's kind of cut so that's why it's doing that. If you were to use a Cricut or something you still want to make sure because you don't really get crisp folds in my opinion with their default score tools. That's why I tend not to use a Cricut as much these days because it just doesn't score the way I want it to. So how we want to start with is we can take this one, which is the right one. Remember, this is the top. So this is the top because you have the little tab at the bottom. So there's a reason why I do repetitive, just so you know. So we're going to glue this side. We'll go like this. Glue it down. So we're going to add glue to... I'm just going to do the first two tabs. Now yeah, I am using American Crafts card, um, Texture Cardstock. And in this video, barely art precision crack glue. I do use art glitter glue too. I like them both. So we want to get this edge right here. We want it lined up like that, if you can see that. So the first tab, you should get those score lines close to each other. So you want to get the first tab first. And then I'm pushing in so this edge right here is lined up into the tab fold, inside tab fold. And 
and then I did the first two so you can see so we're going to continue doing that so I'm going to fold them back and add glue you can do all of them if you feel confident or part of them so I'm going to do just part way just um, assuming I always teach to the people that have not done it the most so I put glue up to about here I know it's not easily seen but we, the easiest way to do it is this just make sure you have the correct piece and as I go around I'm just going to go around and let's go towards here see if you can see it better this as I, I fold it under and applying pressure from top to bottom to the last tab so in this way I can see that it's fitting in properly the biggest thing to make it fit correctly is to make sure that that edge lines up best you can it's not exact because these are squared off where this has a little bit of an arch all the way around okay like that and then I'm gonna finish them off let me go ahead and add glue to the rest of them so you could do those all at once if you felt confident with um, this process so it's, you want to use the table to our benefit here so I'm just gonna push the tabs and then as I go kinda of pulling pushing from the right end So that's what it looks like on the other side, and that's why we pre-folded all these so we didn't have to mess with it after the fact. I didn't put a backing to this. Um, I tried, and it, I don't think it was easy enough for majority of the people that I want to be able to do this. So I decided not to, so, but it looks, it still looks, as you can see, this one doesn't have a backing on it right here, but it still looks 3D. So I think that's... Uh, good for majority of the people out there and you know you gotta find places where it's easier so we'll do the other side the same way so let's go ahead and anchor it same process as the other side the anchoring just helps you to get it in the right place first before you because if you try to do them all at once it just sometimes gives you a fit. So I'm kind of pushing this up to make sure this gets into that into this inside fold. So that one just came apart. So you get those good two good two um adhered well. Get tongue tied and lined up where it needs to be at the top. So these little score lines here right here and here should line up. And then if you're you feel, feel confident enough you can do the same thing. We're going to add glue and just just go around and add pressure starting from at the top all the way down. So I'm going to add glue to all of them. The biggest thing is making sure your glue doesn't dry up on you before you get to the last tab. So it just depends how fast you are. I'm a very slow crafter. Always have been. Uh, I, that doesn't. I've gotten faster, but I'm still pretty slow, and that's okay. You need to go at the pace that works for you. So I'm gonna fold them down. I'm gonna fold them in a lot. I'm gonna put that in there real quick. Pop that in, and fold those up a little bit to get it in place. and then you can't really see but we're going to do the same thing so by feel I know you can't see it but I'm going to start at the top and I'm going around pushing it in so I'm pushing that in at the same time making sure I'm getting it lined up properly so if you start don't start at the top and stop at the start at the bottom you may get a little bulge in here so you want to be careful so you could also do it like this in the air. I just feel it's easier to do it against a table because then you can get the pressure. But you could line it up using your whatever's comfortable for for you really. Once we get those 
taken care of, we can put these two panels on to cover. And that's not the right side. We want the textured side up, so we want this side. So that's pretty simple. So I'm just going to add some glue here, all the way around. And be careful to clean up your glue leakage. It, it is white, so it's not going to show as much. But if you have something like black, like I did, you have to make sure that you um, have a little like damp something to wipe off the excess if you do have excess on any kind of color version of this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply pressure here. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So I'm just finishing up, making sure that it's, get the, make sure there's no major gaps. And you could even emboss these little side ones. I thought about that after the fact, but um, embossing them to give them a little bit of a fun look or or you can put the flat one on and put a different color on there if you like that's up to you you can always do that within your software so now we have these panels so there's going to be one panel that we'll attach this to so we can do that right now and put it aside until we're ready to add it so we're just going to line that up carefully in the I just have it too far in so that's the top okay if that happens to you make sure I'm not even gonna make sure you just add a little bit of glue I didn't have it glued in that one little corner here so when I put it through it didn't it was causing problems the same thing here I didn't add glue right in that spot. So that it doesn't come apart when you put it through. So I would suggest that you just put this big one in first to anchor it. So just put it through. So remember, oops, we want it at, we want the pattern facing this way. Okay. So I'm gonna just slide that first one through here. And I'm making it harder than it actually is. It really isn't that bad. I'm just going to place it up here. So you want the one that's closer to the top. It's smaller at the bottom, bigger at the top. So I'm just going to line it up. Make sure that this edge up here, the tab fold edge, lines up to that edge, to the panel edge. Then I'm going to gently rotate these in. They're kind of an odd shape. I'm going to go ahead and do one side at a time. Gently pop that in. So they should fold over in their right where the fold is. So we want the edge to kind of meet in. So you want to align that edge, inside edge of that opening to the, the tab fold. So if it gets pushed through just a little bit too much, you just adjust it. Just have to wiggle that out a little bit. And then just align it. So it just folds backwards like that. And then we'll do the same on the bottom. I'm going to get these all the way through. So you just want to be gentle. It's easier to manipulate the, the panel, but if the one of those tabs gets stuck on the edge, believe it or not, it's they're bigger than they're slightly bigger than the what we're getting through. The ones that are going to give you fits are those little side panel ones. So the same thing, start with the bottom panel, fold that over, 
and then do the two side panels like that. So you shouldn't be able to see any of the panels from the front. There'll be that little hole, but that's okay because um, that will be white. And then we'll go ahead and put the remaining panels on. But let's go ahead and fold this first. So I've, I've folded all these tabs in the panels. So this helps us to place the the place the panels on. So what I'm going to do is probably like three panels and then this one. Okay. So I'll put it on flat because it will be easier. So this centers, so there's a little bit of a an edge that you should have when you place this. If for some reason you just wanted this solid color, so I'm just going to center this. But I wanted to address that. So as you can see, I'm just centering it, and that's when folding kind of helps. I'll pull it down. And then now, once you get the first one, I kind of line the top and bottom to that one. So I'm consistent all the way across. But let's say you just didn't want pattern paper. But I like pattern paper just because you can make it for any occasion pretty quickly. You can make a birthday one, any holiday, any holiday. If you have a ho holiday printed paper. Um, or you can make... Um, I just like it. It just makes it so it's easy to change up because I like a design that you can change and use all year round and not just be uh, set into one holiday. That's me. I like making holiday items, but I also like making boxes or items that are really generic in nature. I like this because you can hold a lot of little gifts in here. and. Um, but I like it, they're generic in nature, so you could just change it for multiple seasons and have a file that's um, flexible for any time, really. Or a, you know, un a unique box. But if you did want it white, you could make it solid color, just make these the same color as this. So just change in your software to have them the same color if you just want a solid. Because, um, or, or just use this piece to put the handle on and then uh, omit the rest of them. So there's a way to make it solid too if you want to make it one color. So I'm going to place that same place because it is the same size. Kind of wiggle room it down to make sure it's in, in the right place. And you'll just want to make sure that you get these little edges here. You want those to be adhered well around it so it doesn't pull off. And then I did a traditional white for this. I, I, I try to stay away from white or black usually, but sometimes I just like the look. I mean, white is a color, but not a color, but I just like the cleanliness of a white box. But that's always been me, but I also love pattern paper, so I love changing it up with pattern paper. If you do like this design, if you could just give me a little like or thumbs up on the the video below and or subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. And if you hit that little notification bell to the right, you'll be notified when we have new videos, new projects, sometimes a reboot of an old project, things like that. So I'll just line it up. And then once we get these all on, we can go ahead and put it together. It's, it's a pretty simple project. This, to me, it's a kind of a beginner 3D project. I'm stating that as I have others that are not. So now we're going to go ahead and line this up. So because we have a handle already on it, I mean, I normally would just... Uh, put it flat, but um, because there's a handle already on it, 
and you could have put it on later but we have to do it a little bit different but if you want to you can always omit that one panel and put it on later before you close it up on the bottom and you can reach in and apply pressure I just think it's easier when it's flat and this is not that hard to attach so you're just going to line that up I'll make sure it's lined up on the top and bottom and this edge lines up to that fold then you can reach in now you can put it on the table and then I can reach in with a tool like this to apply pressure so it's a bone folder gives me the ability to put that on a little easier because now it's nice and sturdy and make sure that's good and glued down before you go ahead and close it up on the bottom so we have only two more pieces we have this piece that will go inside to hide the uh, tabs inside and then this piece that folds over so all we want to do is to add glue to all these and I get pretty close to the edge with my glue just trying not to get too much like I said you can't see it on white uh, but on other colors you'll be able to see the glue if it kind of leaks through so I just went a little bit over on that one get over there so just go ahead and fold it over and then you're going to kind of go around starting where we anchored it go around kind of push it in until it is lined up satisfactory to, for you so I'd rub it a little bit once you get it in place we're going to flip it over I'm going to use um, my wooden chopstick to apply pressure against those tabs inside and then extra will be this and it's going to be kind of odd I'm going to kind of drop it in but this is uh, rounded I'm not going to put glue it's just going to hide the tabs inside and make it a little bit more sturdy we could have put that in first too. I didn't think about it, but I'm just going to drop it in. I'm trying to place it. Just kind of wiggling it in place. And you could rearrange it if you were want to make sure it's truly even. You could move it around in there before you glue down. But I can't reach all the way in. I made it big enough. I didn't want this huge, but I made it big enough that my hand can't really go in. So I have to use a, a blunt tool like this to apply pressure. So that's it. You can just, you know, once that's down, it's all ready for a gift. And you can go ahead and add like maybe a little twine, a little tag, um, a personal message if you wanted to on the front. You could use vinyl, anything. So there it is. This is our latte mug. I hope you like it. And I thank you so much for watching.